Bias is creepy. Bias is sneaky. You don't realize it's in there until a moment like that. I have two daughters. My 11-year-old, Callie, is kind of like me. Callie, what do people say when they find out that you have white parents? Sometimes they're like, oh, you don't look like you that. I'm like, oh, I'm adopted. I'm in seventh grade. I look at Callie and I see an innocent little 11-year-old girl. I usually just think about Netflix and shoes and school, of course. that there's the possibility that you might be treated differently by some people from your sister just based on the fact that you're black and Sydney's white. When you have to say something like that to your kid, it's really sad. It just felt like we were bursting her bubble. But nothing like that's ever happened to you, right? No. I just saw a white woman sitting at a bus stop. 20, 30 feet away was a black guy walking down the street. And for some reason, I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna watch just to make sure that she's okay. I looked at this guy differently based solely on the fact that he was black. I was really disappointed in myself. It's something we need to talk about. This post is embarrassing. This post is saying something that doesn't put me in a very good light. But I thought it was important. If I want people to talk, well, I have to put myself out there first. Ashton Kutcher retweeted that. You can't change anything until you can look yourself in the mirror and say, I have this bias, so what am I going to do about it now? I'm going to do something a little bit different based on everything that happened last week. We all come at things. It's just so important to have these discussions. We do. We need to. We need to have real discussions. We all have biases. I sure learned that I have them. And I'm trying to make sure that that never happens again. Let's go. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. Come here. Mm -hmm. Cousin, get moving. Don't go, go. You're late.